Sustainable Paradigm Building. Welcome to One Community Weekly Progress Update number 68. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 Nonprofit Organization. This is our Weekly Progress Update number 68, June 20th, 2014 edition, covering our team's accomplishments, progress, all the details, pictures, and video for the last week. If you'd like to see more details, more images, and links that you can click on for all of our open source content, please visit our written blog. And as always, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, please just send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes California state education standards. This week, the core team, which consists of the Satellite and Pioneer members, finished the addition of a Technology and Innovation Lesson Plan section for each of our three finished lesson plan mind maps. Here's an example of what the complete time page now looks like, and we've got the same level of detail for both the Matter and Materials lesson plan and a Relative and Dimensional Space lesson plan. We have also now have about 90% of the images formatted and added to the complete Subject of Science page, which is about 20% of the work that needs to be finished there. And behind the scenes, we are now 90% done with the lesson plan with the core theme of signs, and we finished the lesson plan for happiness. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined, and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week the core team finished adding the diversity details to the organic alliums and lettuce sections with 34 alliums and the eight featured that you see here and 18 lettuces including nine that you can see featured here all of which is part of our swiftly developing large-scale gardening page that shares purchasing details, planting guidelines, cultural considerations, and more for these vegetables. We also finished another 15% of our large-scale soil amendment strategy webpage, adding all of the planting specifics and bringing us to 90% completion of this open source guide for soil reparation in areas needing it. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master electrician and a master plumber if you would like to help out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week the core team working on highest good housing visited the site and took these pictures of where we will be building the three dome cluster as part of our crowdfunding campaign to open source share complete home plans, furniture plans, building tutorials, and more for earth bag construction. We also completed research of all existing online free shared plans. Here's a sampling of those, which uh, ultimately showed us that there's definitely a need for what we will be adding to the industry and global open source archive. Truly not much out there. Uh, we also completed our open source water heating and cooling web page, sharing why we'll be going with a combination of a solar run heat pump and a solar collector. 
And thanks to public feedback, we added thermal loss specifics and global ground temperature averages to the Dome Home Heating and Cooling page. Last but not least, our partner Philip Gill also completed our action items list for the open source and custom furniture component of the upcoming crowdfunding campaign. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician. If you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team working on the duplicable city center added Daku's complete natural pool, indoor-outdoor transition point videos, materials list, thermal calculations, and downloadable CAD file to the open source natural pool page. Jennifer Engelmeyer of loveyournaturalpool.com, working in conjunction with our partner Rick Ruggles of Hayward Pool Products and Rob Jurdy of Sorco Design and Consulting, helped us to update all our hardware links on the website and continued evolving the master materials lists that you can see here. Also, Carl Harris redesigned our resident bathroom in the kitchen dome to be ADA compliant and completed about 50% of the West Elevation's CAD drawings you can see here. For this area of the project, we are seeking a structural engineer and a general contractor. The structural engineer is somebody that we're seeking to help us design the cupola so it can be built without a crane, which is very important for our open source goals and duplication anywhere in the world. And the general contractor is needed for assistance in conjunction and collaboration with P2S Engineering, who is helping us with the mechanical, electrical, and plumbing section of this structure. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team working on the Highest Good Society component completed a rewrite and redesign of our core values page discussing freedom and what it means to the environment we are creating along with how we use this value in our decision-making process. And we also updated our homepage and other key web page videos to remove their dependence on Flash so that countries and people with older computers will be able to view these videos. One community is sustainable paradigm building. What that means is that we are building a new paradigm of positive and permanent global transformation that is by definition sustainable. When we say that, we don't just mean sustainable living or self-sufficient living, although that's a part of it. What we mean is we're building the paradigm specifically so that it can create positive and permanent global transformation for this generation and generations to come. Sustainable in that it will sustain itself. It gives more than it takes. A regenerative way of living that addresses individual challenges as well as global challenges simultaneously. And so when we decided to do this, when we thought about it, the question that we had to ask ourselves is, is what is the current paradigm? What are the foundations of the current paradigm that would need to be upgraded? What is the 2.0 version of the human experience that can be, what is that going to be built on? And so we looked at the foundations of the current human experience. What is the current par paradigm built on? Food, energy, housing, and then the, the more cultured aspects of civilization, education, for-profit, non-profit business creation, recreation, and true earth stewardship. I put all those together and we said, okay, if we can open source and free share these things, the worst case scenario is that we will create open source and free shared blueprints, tools, tutorials, resources that if all the little pieces were implemented all over the world by individuals and there was no bigger version of this, we would still move the world in a positive direction. We would still create innovation. We would still create, we would still spread ideas and positive things that would make a difference in the world. But if we do it the way that we're really designed to do it, taking all of those elements and putting them together as complete teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs to be built around the world, to spread this idea, to become self-replicating because we can demonstrate them as easy enough, as affordable enough, and attractive enough for people in small groups to want to participate. If we can create that, then this idea can spread across the planet, but not just spread across the planet, in a way that, that, that just provides for individuals, but specifically spread across the planet in a way that takes this idea of new paradigm building 
and teaches it to other people. A solution model that creates additional solution creating models. All for the highest good of all. Thinking globally and teaching other people how to think globally as well. Meeting people's basic needs so that they are in a place so that they can help other people to meet their needs as well and taking it far beyond the idea of basic needs to the higher level foundational human values and needs. Growth and contribution, love and connection, making a difference in the world. Diversity, security, all of these things. So if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds interesting to you, if this sounds like a noble venture, if this sounds like something that is worthwhile to get involved in, we invite you to participate. We invite you to join our team, get involved either as a pioneer member, the people that are going to move onto the property and build one community, or get involved as a satellite member, the people that participate in everything that we do behind the scenes, and uh, that where you're on our weekly calls and part of our, our time tracking and everything that we do to, to move this project forward or participating as a consultant or partner. The people that are helping us out behind the scenes, donating their time, contributing what they can, their expertise and helping to move the different pieces of one community forward with the core team. This is what we're all about. This is what we're creating. And this is our idea of making a difference in the world. And so, and of course, if you are a connector, if you are somebody who knows people, if you'd like to help us out, the number one thing that we're looking for right now is that funder, that benefactor, that angel investor, or that investor that would like to invest in one community or donate to our 501c3 nonprofit organization and help us get the property off the market. For over three years, we have built this model around a property that will allow us to share this model with as many people as possible so people can come and visit experience what it is that we're creating and then take everything that they like about it and go off and duplicate it because we're open source and free sharing all the blueprints tools tutorials and resources necessary for duplication and so if you know somebody people ask well what who's that person well it's you know it really only takes one person who knows the right group or knows the right people or knows the right person that would see what it is that we're doing and want it to happen badly enough to invest in it so that we can continue to take everything that we're doing, everything we've been reporting on now for 68 weeks, to a whole new level. Multiplying our open source creative process times 100, times 1,000. As we build our group, bringing together 50 nonprofit volunteers, then 100 nonprofit volunteers, then 200 nonprofit volunteers, then 300, then 500, then 1,000 nonprofit volunteers, all working with a consciousness for the highest good of all contributing open source content, blueprints, tools, tutorials, and resources to the global cooperative and the global collaborative, and bringing people together to build this foundation, to build this new paradigm in a way that will be sustainable and self-replicating and will evolve and adapt to the evolving and changing challenges of this generation and generations to come. So, with that, we will say thank you for following our progress. Uh, as always, we are on all of the social media networks. If you'd like to join us, we try and make it as easy as possible for people to join us in the way that works best for them. You can join us on LinkedIn. You can join us on Twitter. You can join us on Facebook or on all the different social media networks. And, of course, uh, you're also please, if you'd like to follow our progress, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Or you can send us an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we will put you on our newsletter list and send you an email every time one of these updates comes out. So until next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thank you.